Hello, I'm Dr Karen Lane. Um, I've been teaching sociology now for 20 years, both overseas in Britain and in Europe and in Australia and mostly at Deakin. Um, it is the most fascinating topic. I can recommend all students do some sociology at least, but of course we'd like you to go right through from the first year up until a PhD if you like, but of course that's a long journey. Um, a major in sociology is a wonderful thing to have. For example, I'm looking at the age today. It's Tuesday the 23rd of June and I have simply picked up the copy of the age called. What do I see on the front? I see an article about Julian Assange and the WikiLeaks campaign, his supporters, his dissenters. I can see a headline that says trading in tragedy relating to the um, uh, to um, the, the trading in refugees. I'm looking at um, childcare centres and the question of accreditation for carers. I'm looking at um, an article about how RMIT students are offended by one of the tests. Um, I'm looking at people smugglers. I'm looking at Harry Jenkins who's retiring and talking about the demise of the parliament and political um, debate. I'm talking about um, here there's an article about um, whether Rudd should take over from Julia Gillard. I can go on and look at um, an article on cancer. All of these issues, there isn't one that isn't broached by sociology. So specifically in a sociology degree and indeed in your first year of doing sociology, you would cover issues in sport, in media, in sexuality, in the family, um, the environment, uh, relationships, globalisation um, and socialisation. That is what it is to be social. Um, the main tools in sociology, the social categories that we organise our discussions around, will normally be class, gender, age and ethnicity, um, as well as other things like status, like educational uh, level, like religion, like the political um, uh, system, like the economy. Um, we're looking at life in all of its um, varied manifestations and all of the debates and issues that go with it. Um, there, it is a fairly theoretically oriented topic, um, but only in the sense that we use them to examine and go deeper and elucidate the complexities of social issues of our time. So what would it look like doing a sociology major? You would come in once a week to a one hour lecture, you would go to a one hour tutorial, you would write uh, one uh, 2,000 word essay every semester and you would have discussions in tutorial with some tutorial uh, participation and assessment. Um, you would do uh, ASC 101 in the first semester, ASC 102 in the second semester and then with this smorgasbord of topics you would choose how to begin to specialise in years two and three and then an honours year. We would hope that you would go on and do a master's degree because this does turn you into a top class thinker and researcher um, and a methodologist. One of the things that ex um, uh, 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 employers ask me all the time is we want independent, confident thinkers and researchers. This is a bankable skill to have, or set of skills. This is what employers really want, and it doesn't matter what field it is, this is what they really want. They don't want yes people, they don't want people who can take orders, they want people who can solve novel issues in relationship to the global and local and national contexts. This is what sociology does, and I hope you'll join us. Goodbye.